Hey, what's up guys? Sean from the Nerd Lair here. Thanks for tuning into this video where today we're going to be taking a look at the Miss Pac-Man My Arcade Pocket Player. There's something not right about this Miss Pac-Man. She looks like Mr. Pac-Man got into Mrs. Pac-Man's closet, but I'm not one to judge. Anyway, this also comes with Sky Kid and Mappy included. If you guys haven't seen my video that I did on the My Arcade Data East Hits emulator, go ahead and click the link at the end of the video. I got a few comments on my last My Arcade video saying that these aren't actually emulators, they're something else. I don't really care. That's just what I call them, so deal with it. Anyway, let's get this thing open and check it out. So at first glance, this thing looks pretty well built, and it is, except for the D-pad. That's garbage. And if we flip it over, we can see that it takes four AAA batteries. Man, really giving Nintendo a run for their money, eh, my arcade? Also, repping the Kirkland batteries, shout out to Russ Lyman. But if you don't have the Kirkland brand battery hookup like I do, you can also use a micro USB cable to power it. Ah, uh, satisfying. I actually really like the decals on this thing. On the top we have the volume button, the USB port, and the power switch. And on the bottom we have the headphone jack. Pretty standard. Okay, so the outside of it looks pretty nice. Let's turn it on and see how well it plays. After seeing the My Arcade logo and the Pocket Player logo, we get to choose between Miss Pac-Man, Sky Kid, or Mappy. And since this is a Miss Pac-Man video, we're gonna play Miss Pac-Man first because Miss Pac-Man. Not a lot of people know this, but one of my favorite arcade games of all time is Miss Pac-Man, so this is a real treat for me. So the one complaint I really have with this thing is the directional pad. It is a very bad design. Design. It's a circle. My thumb keeps slipping off of it, and it's really hard to tell where my thumb is at times because, well, it's a circle. And that's kind of a big letdown because that's the only button that's utilized for this game. With a game like Miss Pac-Man, you have to have a good D-pad or joystick in order to play this game properly because you're constantly being chased by ghosts and twisting and turning throughout the labyrinth. Which brings me to my next item I'm going to review. Yes, I have a bonus item for you guys, and that is... This. And this is <sighs> Miss Pac-Man My Arcade Microplayer Retro Arcade. <sighs> you think that's a long enough name? Now, with most of the My Arcade products, I don't really recommend them all that often, but this thing really intrigued me. I love little arcade cabinets. So let's open it. So on the outside, this thing looks like an actual arcade cabinet. It's really cute. On the back, we have the battery compartment, which holds four AA batteries, and we have a volume button on top and the headphone jack. And you can also power this one with a micro USB cable on the bottom. With this one, it's more traditional. You have a joystick handle that screws into the directional pad, which I don't know why anyone would want to take it off, but yeah, that's a thing. And the cool thing with this is the way you turn it on, you press the coin mechanism and the game starts up. I wish the marquee would light up as well. There's also grips on the bottom so it won't slide around while you're playing it. Alright, let's try this one out. That jingle is timeless, I don't think I'll ever get bored of hearing that. And already I can tell that the controls for this are a lot better than the pocket arcade we played earlier. But that's not to say that this thing is perfect, because it's not. But compared to the pocket arcade, this thing is miles above it. It just feels more natural to play, which is good for a game like this. It's an arcade, it should feel like that. The screen quality and the sound quality are about the same as the pocket arcade, which is to be expected because my arcade probably uses all of the same kind of components for each of their devices. So, in conclusion, I cannot recommend this particular My Arcade unit for $27.99, but this one, however, I totally can because it's the exact same price and it's a million times better. And, you know, the mini arcade aesthetic is something that I really enjoy, and I think it would be cool to have a whole collection of these little tiny arcade cabinets just sitting on a shelf or something like that. There's a ton of different ones to choose from, so I'm sure there's one out there that you'll enjoy picking up. Why, hello there, one person that stayed till the end of the video. Thanks for watching. You're awesome. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of these videos over here. You'll probably like those as well. And be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss an upload, which is at least once a week so there's always something to watch. Stay nostalgic, and I'll see you next time in the Nerd Lair.